Uh, hey, good evening, everyone. Um, Tom Zabo, Solutions Architect at VMware here. Um, so, uh, V Realized Lifecycle Manager 8.62 just came out um, last week, and I'm starting to update my my lab to 8.62 um, for VROPS, Log Insight, V Realized Automation. What, what I really want to get to is VRA 8.62 so I can redeploy Salt Stack Config. Um, but, you know, step one is to upgrade Lifecycle Manager. So I figured why not make a video while I'm doing it just so that uh, folks can, can have an idea of what it looks like to do a, um, you know, a new update for LCM. It's fairly straightforward. Um, always a good spot to start is release notes. Um, you know, just understand what is fixed, any changes that might be made, any, any known issues that still need to be resolved. Um, in this case, 8.62 is really to just to add support for the new vRealize components that have been released and also to address the Apache Log4j up, uh, issue that's been um, plaguing the technology industry over the past month or so. Um, so, you know, good place to start. Like I said, always go to um, release notes. And then certainly we have product documentation that walks through um, installation, upgrades, how to manage LCM, um, whole section on upgrading LCM itself. So uh, really step one is to go into Lifecycle Manager. So log in, um, see here I'm logged in as admin at local. Uh, if we go under manage environment, just to see, you can see my lab. Um, I've got VRA deployed, I've got log insight and VROP. So you can see I, I actually did push um, log insight and VROP state.62 already. There was no, in this case, there wasn't a hard requirement to go to lifecycle manager 862 um, first. You can see, oops, not what I wanted to do. Uh, if we go to about, skipping right over it, we should see I am running. 8.6.1.5 of Lifecycle Manager. So to do an upgrade, um, we actually don't do anything in the environments for this. Um, we go to settings, and then there is a section under system administration called system upgrade. To go into it, a um, couple of things that we you know recommend, and one of the reasons anybody that's ever you know that we've talked about LCM together, you know one of the reasons why I like it is it really does make upgrades of the vRealize suite significantly easier. There, there's nice workflow approaches to upgrades and it really does, um, it's got pre-checks built in, a lot of good recommendations that help steer people away from uh, decisions that can get them in a lot of trouble when it comes to upgrades. Um, so you can see here, I still have a message from the last time I did an upgrade, I'm just gonna close that out. And you know, recommendation, like I was saying, you know, kind of recommendations every step of the, the way. So in this case, hey, before we do an upgrade, let's take a snapshot, probably a good idea, right? So I'm just gonna click create snapshot, um, you know, throw in my vCenter host name and then select credentials um, to log in. So LCM allows you to um, store credentials. So you could see I'm choosing um, a credential that I know is going to work, or at least it should. So we're gonna click submit. and the create snapshot request has been submitted. We can take a look at requests to watch it actually happening, make well to make sure it happens. And if we go to vCenter, you'll see we are creating a virtual machine snapshot. We should update relatively quickly. There we go, got the feedback that the snapshot was created successfully. So we have our snapshot in place, go back to settings, system upgrade. And now what we want to do, um, I've already got a my VMware account set up so we can check to see if there is an upgrade available. So we're just going to click check for upgrade. Now, in this case, um, I've done this previously just to speed up the process. Um, if you click check for upgrade, you can uh, you know, download the upgrade, but in this case, I already have it. So we're going to click, um, you know, let's do that again. We're going to click the upgrade button, which is now available 
um, because I click check for upgrade and there is certainly an upgrade to 8.62 available. Um, so we're gonna click upgrade. Again, you know, we're gonna just kind of, it's gonna, you know, a little wizard is gonna come up and basically walk us through things. So here I'm acknowledging that I took a snapshot. Um, we can run a pre-check, validate that the, you know, based on the current configuration and build, we should be able to do an upgrade. Shouldn't take too long to run this pre-check. All right, all validations passed. Um, you can download a report if you want to, in case something goes wrong. Uh, you can always go back and see, um, you know, hey, did I miss something? And it's also good, you know, if you have remediations, to download the report is a good idea as well. Um, so then you can kind of work through those remediations and do what you need to do. So in this case, we're, we're good. We don't need to rerun anything. Um, everything passed you can see some of the checks that were run uh you know looking for disk space um you know taking a look at the overall health of the lcm a couple other checks they're all passed so we're good so we're going to go ahead and click upgrade and you can see the upgrades starting to kick off um in most scenarios when you're using lcm to upgrade the realized components um you can actually go to request and watch the workflow happen. In this case, with doing system upgrades to LCM, um, you, you actually watch the, the upgrade happen on the system upgrade screen. So right now it's downloading packages and it should start to build out in just a minute. Yep, they're downloaded and now they're installing. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, um, then we'll resume once the install is finished, or if it fails and I need to troubleshoot. All right, you can see my LCM upgrade kicked off a reboot, and it's almost uh, on its way up. Um, one of the another little amusing feature of the LCM console itself is as it's spinning up it'll also give you a list of new features that are supported um, or a reminder of different things like you know environments can be renamed i think we introduced that a couple of versions back um so it's it's a interesting little way to get some additional information around lcm as it's booting up should be back up uh, another minute or so so I'm pause the recording again All right, so as you can see, um, my appliance finished rebooting. Help if I use the right password, and I'm just logging in to make sure everything worked properly. All right, settings, let's just take a look at system upgrade again, and you can see in my upgrade history, I now upgraded from 861.5 to 8.6.2. Um, you know, today, Wednesday, January 26th. And all in all, if we look back to when I took my, you know, my snapshot, which let's go to tasks, uh, 1127, um, and this in, finished at 1140. So about 13 minutes to do an upgrade, which isn't bad at all. Um, so now if we check, You should see that I'm running 8.6.2. There we go. And there you have it. Fairly straightforward um, to do an, a system upgrade for vRealize Life Cycle Manager. Uh, a couple of the things that I recommend um, would be to check to see if there's a new product support pack available. Um, so essentially what a product support pack does is it, is it defines the different different vRealize components that um, the particular version of LCM supports. So you can see right now, um, 8.6.2, I you know, can support login site, vROPS, um, salt stack config, vRealize automation. Um, so I'm not gonna check for additional support packs. Well, I, well actually, why not? Um, 
just submit a request to, to, to kick it off just to be safe. Um, these are the latest versions. So I, I know there's not a, another support pack out there. One other thing to always remember is either use VROPS or um, use just these for client to commit that snapshot. Since I'm thinking about it right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. If we go to uh, my LCM server here and take a look at snapshots. Um, oh, the, the timestamp was screwing me up. It's in uh, UTC, it's so 4.30 a.m. So um, there's my snapshot. I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and just commit it just so that um, it's not causing me any grief when I forget about it and have a snapshot that's two months old in two months. So um, thanks. I, I hope my video was helpful. I uh, definitely recommend checking out Lifecycle Manager. A lot of interesting things that it can do. Uh, we were just touching on you know, just upgrading the appliance itself. I will do other videos on Lifecycle Operations of the vRealize components themselves. And the, the also um, the content management section is also something I highly recommend checking out. It's where you can basically grab content from the different vRealize components and um, you know, essentially send them someplace else. So in my case, what I do is I grab um, dashboards and vRealize automation uh, templates, different things, and I send that up to my GitLab. That way, if I have to rebuild my lab or something catastrophic happens in my garage, I can quickly recreate some of the content that I need uh, to do my job. So uh, thanks again, everyone. Have a good one. Take it easy.